What's up my friends? Welcome back to the REF Sense YouTube channel and my last video of 2022 and what a hell of a year it has been. I can't tell you how honored I am to have each and every one of you here. I started this channel in mid-July sometime and already over 850 of you have decided to follow me and I am so excited to have you with me. I hope that I'm bringing you as much happiness as you guys are me. So I'm going to do pretty much what I think every content creator is doing right about now, and that is listing the best fragrances that I have discovered in 2022. I'm telling you, I have come across some amazing things. I've covered quite a few of them on this channel already, but I have to go ahead and put them out there as my favorites of the year, and some of them are even my favorites in my overall collection. So let's send this year off with a bang. Here are my seven favorite fragrances from this year. Let's go. Now I'm gonna start this list off with a fragrance that only came into my possession about a week or a week and a half ago. However, I bought it about a year ago. I promise it's gonna make sense after I tell the story. But this fragrance was made by my good friend Omar from School of Scent. He actually started a Kickstarter campaign about a year ago that I contributed to. It got fully funded and he made a fragrance and it came in the mail and I am so, so happy with it. This is called Mr. Fragrant by his company, Atrium Fragrance, and this is the first time that it is being featured on this channel. Now, I'll, I, will, I will say that when it comes to influencers making their own fragrances, I usually get pretty nervous because in the realm of TikTok where I come from, a lot of them do it for clout rather than um, rather than respecting the perfumery and the artistry that goes into making fragrances. But Omar, he did it exactly right. Prior to doing his Kickstarter, uh, he studied with a world-renowned perfumer. He did a lot of experimenting, a lot of testing, a lot of reformulations. He did everything exactly right, and I will tell you that this is not about clout. This is about art, my friends. So Mr. Fragrance, so you know, is the gentleman's blue fragrance. That's what I think of it as. It's got some top notes of uh, orange and lavender, and it's really, really big on the vetiver. It's got some vetiver in the heart, and then in the base, it's got patchouli, must, uh, must, musk, ambergris, and even a little bit of uh, galabanum in there. So think of it like a mix between Terry Dermez and Blue de Chanel is what I think of it as but it is really good and really fresh when you first spray it on. And then as it dries down, it's like taken over with the uh, patchouli and vetiver is what I get the most, but it lasts for eight hours on my skin. I have sprayed this on three or four times in the last week, week and a half to make sure that I'm feeling it out right. And I came back with the same results each and every time. Compliments and longevity, my friends. Go to his website uh, at Atrium Fragrance. Find his YouTube channel. Whatever you got to do, get your hands on this fragrance. It is phenomenal. Next up is a fragrance that I received for free as a gift from a company called Euro Perfumes when I did a little bit of work for them. This niche fragrance is one that has blown me away with how good it is. I had never heard of this company before until I was sent this bottle and now it is one of my favorites. It is from the British House of Thamine. It is Carved Oud. I have talked about this one quite a few times on this channel. And the reason is because this one, in my opinion, puts Tom Ford Oud Wood to shame. And I'm gonna tell you why. Number one is for the price. Tom Ford Oud Wood, along with a lot of their private line fragrances, are too expensive for what they are. You're talking a hundred, or um, for 100 milliliters, $325, that's garbage. This one is a, one, a 100 milliliter bottle and it is $220 
on twistedlily.com and you even get a 10% discount when you use my coupon code RAFSense10. RAFSense10. You get a good 10% discount site wide. The entire site is 10% off, but it really helps you when it comes to famine. So, the price wise, you get way more for the price that you pay. Number two, I think it smells better. It's got some really, really good green and woody notes mixed in there uh, with, you know, some amber, some uh, musk, some patchouli and everything. It's got some cypress, it's got some cardamom, it's got the oud, it's got cedar, it's got sandalwood, a little bit of amber, iris, and vanilla in there. But it makes it a lot more airy and earthy. And it's not like a uh, deep mud earth, you know what I'm saying? It smells like you're sitting beside a river and you can smell the river rocks, you can smell grass, you can smell the trees around. It is fantastic. It lasts just as long as the oud wood. It projects just as much, but I think it is just outstanding for what you're paying for. Um, it is worth the money, this one is. Go on twistedlily.com and get you a bottle. This one has taken me completely by surprise in 2022 and I guarantee you it will take you by surprise as well. Next up, I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I'm not gonna talk about one particular fragrance as much as one entire house of fragrances. It is Harmony Perfumes. I don't even remember how I discovered them. All I remember is that it was the spring of 2022. I stumbled across their website and some of their content and I'm like, you know what? I see that they carry a fragrance called Castle Black and being a huge Game of Thrones fan, I need to get that fragrance. I got it and I turned around and bought a full bottle within the month. Guys, it is amazing. I am super impressed with the quality and the creativity behind these fragrances. So let's talk about three fragrances from them in quick fashion. Castle Black is number one. All of these are artisanal fragrances, which means that when you smell them, they paint a very vivid picture in your mind. And the picture that this one paints is of the ruins of an ancient castle. You're standing in the middle of just some rocky outcroppings and you know that at one point in time, there were battles that were fought there. It, and now there's just this chill, this haunting feeling in the air. You can smell grass, you can smell some peppermint, you can smell some moss, a little bit of rose, some rum, tobacco. There are so many amazing notes in here. And I'm telling you, this is a very bold fragrance. It's not something you just choose to wear one day and hope you're gonna pull compliments. You're not. This is going to be one that you want to stand out and really catch people's attention. And you will. Castle Black, it's amazing. By the way, last 12 hours. Number two is going to be a fragrance called La Bousse. La Bousse is a tropical fragrance that smells like a very rich pirate, which is who La Bousse was. One of the richest pirates to have ever sailed the seas. This has everything from some rum in there to some sea salt to some amber to some leather and everything in between it smells very fancy it smells very fresh and it will pull compliments this one i get about 10 to 12 hours on my skin and then finally my most recent acquisition from this house is this one right here odin sleep i'm a big marvel fan too but odin sleep let me tell you this one is cold, and I'm not even exaggerating about this. The main note in this fragrance is peppermint, and the peppermint is evident right from the beginning because when you spray it on, it's so strong that you can actually feel it on your skin. Uh, but it's also got some grass, some vanilla, tonka, and tobacco. So the way I describe this one is imagine a grassy field where the frost is just starting to settle in. You're getting that cold chill, you're smelling the grass, but you know, the ice and the frost kind of add to the moisture and make it a little bit muddy. And it just, it just is beautiful, okay? If you want something that is completely unique and you want to feel what it is you're spraying on, Odin Sleep is the one from you. But guys, Harmony Perfumes, definitely worth looking into. Oh, and guys, this fragrance, Odin Sleep, is about to go on sale for New Year's. If you type in the coupon code Give Me Mint, you will get this bottle for $100. I'm not making any kickback on this. I'm telling you, this is about to be a hell of a deal that you need to take advantage of. 
Next is fragrance number four, and this one is one that I blind bought and absolutely love from the first moment I smelled it. And this is actually the only designer fragrance on this list, but it is one that you don't need to shy away from. I'm telling you, it is amazing. It is Dior Fahrenheit Le Parfum. This is not the Eau de Toilette. I, I talk anytime I bring this fragrance up, I have to make sure that I mention to you guys that this is not the Eau de Toilette. I was actually just in Ulta tonight when I was out with my family and I smelled the Eau de Toilette and was reminded very, very quickly of how, uh, how much it smells like gasoline. It is a very bold and very in your face type of fragrance. It is not the same way with Fahrenheit Le Parfum. It still has that DNA a little bit, but it is really toned down. You've got some leather, some tonka bean, and vanilla. It is a lot, I say a lot sweeter. It adds just enough sweetness to make you approachable. It is absolutely phenomenal. I think the current price on this one, when you can find it, it's tough to find online, but uh, when you are able to find it, it's generally around $110. I'm gonna try to leave a link in the description below if I can locate it, but $110, this is definitely best as a nighttime fragrance, and it gets me between six and eight hours. Um, surprisingly, I do think that this is uh, blind by safe. The Eau de Toilette, definitely not blind by safe, but the Le Parfum, it is. And I'm telling you, I'm saying that as a way of saying that's how different and how, um, you know, not, not offensive this fragrance is going to be. You can definitely buy this without smelling it first. I did, and it paid off. Next up for fragrance number five, we have a fragrance that is from the Small House of Oil and Oud based out of London, England. They sent me the fragrance to review just saying, hey, can you help our company out? I love doing that. And what do you know? <laughs> it made my top seven fragrances of the entire year. I'm talking this is up here with Zerzhov, up here with Tiziana Terenzi to me. And <laughs> I just love it. This is Oil and Oud Tobacco Syrup. I featured this on my channel before and hopefully you would have seen it because it's on one of my videos where I featured, well a couple of my videos where I featured smaller companies and guys this is fantastic. Uh, it is a gourmand, okay? Its main note is like chocolate and uh, it's got some other sweet notes in there but the tobacco in here is not one of the pipe tobacco fragrances, it's not even a green tobacco. It is in there just enough to add to the depth and richness of this amazing gourmand scent. Now, as you see, this uh, this is in a pretty small bottle and it is uh, a roller application, okay? It's not gonna be an aerosol spray, but that number one helps you to control how much fragrance you're putting on your body. It makes it good for traveling and it also keeps the price down. You're gonna be looking at, um, I believe this is a 12 milliliter, you're gonna be looking at about $25 for their largest size. And here's a really good thing, guys. Uh, they do not uh, pack any alcohol in these fragrances. What does that mean? That means they can ship it worldwide. It doesn't matter if you're in New Zealand, if you're in Finland, if you're in the United States, in Brazil, you can get your hands on oil and oud. Um, oh my word, guys, 20, best of 2022. This small company made my list of best of 2022. Get these, get these fragrances, man. There's no reason you shouldn't be purchasing from these guys. Like I said, I'm not making any uh, any commission from them. I'm just, <laughs> I'm shouting how much I love them, man. Tobacco syrup from Oil and Oud. Just, just please do yourself a favor and get it. Next up for fragrance number six. This one is actually really special to me because. <laughs> I had been saving up for over a year to purchase this fragrance and I finally acquired it this month. It is a fragrance where the main note is amber. One of my favorite notes in fragrances, especially when it is the star. A niche fragrance from the house of Tiziana Terenzi. It is Hail Bop. And like I said, it took me forever to get this one. I don't remember whose post it was, but I saw it on a random Instagram post it was, talk, it was a post about the 10 top amber fragrances of all time, and this one was on there. I don't know why it intrigued me, but I looked up the notes. 
They looked really good. And when I saw this in Neiman Marcus, I smelled it. Oh, it just oh, it just took me by storm. It just captured me. But at their $450 price tag, I wasn't having it. But I did find it on Max Aroma for like $220. I think now it's about $275, but that's still a good purchase price for it. So I've been going on without even telling you about what it smells like. Listen, the top notes are cinnamon, nutmeg, and lemon. But as it dries down, you get some vanilla, some patchouli, sandalwood, musk, and of course, amber, 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 amber. Okay, I, I usually consider this to be what Dolce and Gabbana, the one eau de parfum, always wanted to be when he grew up. It lasts for about eight to 10 hours, but I will tell you because of some of these sweeter notes in here, I think this is a little bit more feminine than it is masculine. Definitely unisex, okay? You can wear this, but I think this is more drawn toward the feminine side myself, but it is so, it is so damn good, man. I'm so happy I have this one. And I think part of why this made my uh, made my list of, for best of 2022 is simply for the journey. You know, it was it, it was something I wanted and I got, you know. And you guys can do that too with any fragrance you want to, man. But Tiziana Terenzi Hellbop, this is my white whale, man. And now it belongs to me. Jesse wins. The last fragrance on this list is one that is not only one of the best scents I have ever smelled, but one of the best quality fragrances that I've ever smelled. It uh, it triggers my emotions, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm gonna tell you about that right now. From the house of Zerzhov, we have 1861 Naxos. It is a very, very easy blind buy for those of you guys that like sweet tobacco. Man, when I smell this, it just, I am just hit with this overwhelming sense of calm and comfort. It is a very comforting fragrance to smell. Uh, the top notes are lavender, bergamot, and lemon. And then as you get into the heart and base notes, you've got your honey, you've got cinnamon, you've got cashmere, you've got tobacco, tonka bean, and vanilla. All of these things just meld together to it is just such a fantastic fragrance and it is rich. It will cut through any amount of cold air that you can throw at it, man. Uh, but like I said, this is the best quality I've ever experienced. Uh, when you spray it on, it hits your skin and it is there. It's not going to leave any oily residues. It's not going to be subtle by any means and it lasts for a solid 10 to 12 hours on my skin. Now, Zerzhov, it's not known to be one of the cheaper niche uh, niche brands, but they're not they're not Creed level either. I, I got this fragrance from Joma Shop for about $225. I'm gonna be posting a link in the description below where you can also purchase this bottle. I'm Like I said, I'm telling you, easy, easy blind buy, and I promise you, you are going to be blown away at the quality of this fragrance. So, trust Jesse. Zerzhov Naxos, have it on your radar if you have not purchased it already. And just like that, 2022 comes to an end and I could not be more honored to spend part of it with you, my followers, my family. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for helping to make this such an incredible year. I cannot wait to see what the future holds and I cannot wait to get to know you guys even more. Always feel free to hit me up in the comments. DM me on Instagram. I answer every single one of my DMs. I am always there for you guys. Uh, please be sure to uh, you know, hit the like button and the uh, subscribe button, all of those good things. Also, be sure to check out the description. I'm leaving links for everything in there so that you can go and buy these fragrances yourselves. And I think that's it. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next year.